Death and Entertainment Post Mortem. Good night, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is like uh, the official follow up to episodes we're going to be doing. Um, and this one, we're going to be talking about Alec Baldwin. Oh, my God. What a nut. Yeah. Guy's out of his fucking mind. Yeah, so we originally explored the topic of Baldwin in episode 10. Episode a- Alec Baldwin, specifically. Yeah, Alec Baldwin, not, <laughs> not Stephen Baldwin. Well, we did talk about Elaria Baldwin a little bit, too. Yeah, the his wife who lied that she was from Spain. How you say cucumber? <laughs> How you say Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee? <laughs> the interesting thing about them is they're, they're huge social media presences, and but they're equally bonkers. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely both, insane. They're both separately posting insane things. I think that's why they, they matched up so well. I think that's why him and Kim Basinger didn't last, because she like keeps her crazy to herself. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Il- Hillary or Eladia, she, she, now she's wearing it out in the open. Yeah. yeah. She's letting her freak flag fly. She wants in on yeah. uh, people knowing that she's crazy. Well, think about it. Now that, now that everyone knows she was faking being from Spain and she's actually from Boston, it's like, what does she have to lose anymore? Yeah. Yeah. They, you know what I mean? She could just be as crazy as she wants to be. She's playing with the house's money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so. The house's pesos. <laughs> it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, now she's just like an absurd character that people just looking at and just like, you know, scoffing at, but she doesn't care. Right. N- nor does he. He's becoming. Oh, he's. <laughs> like, he was absurd before when he was just beating up photographers on the streets of Manhattan. Yeah. But now he's just like doing videos and um, yeah. losing his mind. Yeah, the like, last screw just fell off the hinge. He is <laughs> certified unhinged now. I'm trying to imagine. I know. C- certified unhinged. Yeah, it's a definite 100% certifiable. But I'm trying to imagine being that much of a super famous guy. Let's take that out of the equation, though. If you accidentally killed someone yeah. less than six months ago, I don't know. Wouldn't you kind of lay low? Wouldn't you be very stoic and just somber? I think, no, I think that's wait old. for the investigation to no, end, and that's old school PR where they'd actually give you good advice like that. Now I think people, it's like the Trump era. People just want to get out ahead of it and like somehow mm. warp the the media narrative before they have a a way of of telling you what happened. He's out there like saying. You know, whatever. Like, you know, I don't have to give my cell phone anyway. Yeah. That's a very a good. Yeah, <laughs> it's a process. That's a good point, though. You're right. He's getting ahead of it because he's saying, oh, I'm still fine. <laughs> like that happened. But, you know, it was a tragedy and I'm moving on with my life and I can still be funny and have fun and yeah. post every day. And yeah, so he gets it thing. out there before it's all in the media already. So. Any yeah. potential jurors that will be there are listening to his madness also. Probably. Yeah. Right, it's not gonna work if that's the if they're trying to go for an insane uh, insanity defense, it's not gonna work. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. He's working on the the insanity defense, yeah. I think, because he's his posts are. We'll we'll, we'll get to that, I yeah. guess. But. I'd love to see him come into the courtroom in a fucking straight jacket, like they wheel him in, <laughs> like Hannibal Lecter. Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> Look at the difference. So if, if you had just heard about the rush shooting and as would be appropriate if Alec Baldwin just shut the fuck up and yeah. stayed home There's, and waited, for, waited for the investigation to conclude, all we would know is the last thing we would know about Alec Baldwin is, you know, anything he did before rust, because that would be the last word you heard from him from him because right. he would be laying low. Now you'd be thinking like, oh, he must be sad. Like, I wonder what he has to say about all this. But instead, from day one, he has been out there giving interviews on social media on the side of the highway. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Pulled over when he was on the lamb in uh, upstate New York or even Massachusetts Vermont. somewhere. Oh, Vermont. That's right. I'll, I'll make a, a correlation. I'm like, remember William H. Macy? His wife went away in jail for the thing she college did scandal. with the college scandal. Yeah. yeah. He, he didn't Hoffman. say shit. No. He didn't say anything, right. William Why H. Macy. 
And he's a reserved good guy, it seems like. Yeah. Normal person, maybe. Um, and then cut to Alec Baldwin getting in the middle of this, where he shot someone in the face. He's uh, he's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Not only William H. Macy, Felicity Huffman hasn't she didn't said, say much either, yeah. said anything either. Just That's a really prison. good point. And they lied about getting their kid into school. Yeah. yeah. Alec Baldwin killed somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, that line, if we cut that out, that sounds like he's going to come after us. Alec Baldwin killed somebody. All right, somebody. come and get us. <laughs> he did kill somebody. Yeah. He yeah. did. I think the facts on the ground are that he murdered someone. I well, mean, see, now that's where you get sued. <laughs> it's not technically murder, it's homicide. He manslaughtered somebody. He manslaughtered. Yeah. Sounds way worse. <laughs> <laughs> and where did, so where did we leave off? This is one of those stories that we did it live, like we yeah. recorded an episode about it the day it happened. Yeah. We were recording the Ed Gein episode. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And our phones Geeners. started getting blown up. Yep. And not only did we hear about Brian Laundry's remains that mm. same day, mm. but after we wrapped, we started getting texts about Alec Baldwin. Yes. So then we recorded a mini soda about Alec Baldwin. Correct. Yeah. So we've been following this since day one. And so throughout some of the episodes, we've like sprinkled in updates. Yeah. yeah. So where, where are we at? The uh, big thing was that he recently uh, gave over his cell phone. Finally. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, last I saw, he was uh, doing a diatribe in his car about a Splenda packet and was telling everybody, you know, there are rumors saying that uh, I, I'm not cooperating, um, but it's a process. Yeah, we have that clip, actually. Oh, yeah. But to preface it, to preface it, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what the Splenda packet's about. He, I can explain it right now. Right. And in fact, I have a YouTube video that will be up that is a compilation of all of his, you know all of his nutty instagram and whatever media yeah appearances There's so much since the shooting yeah. and that will definitely explain everything it, you'll see his descent into madness in this video <laughs> yeah. so check it out youtube spiral, death and entertainment spiral, yeah. but for now to preface it so he he's been posting videos like in november i think he posted a video wearing he was wearing a scarf I didn't and, see that one. And he, he's outside at the magic hour and he's just like thanking all his supporters. Thank you, my supporters. All the people sending me well wishes. Beautiful messages. Yeah. So he, he goes on and on about all these people that are sending him well wishes. So he's he does posts like that. And that same with Eladia. Yeah. Like we already talked about this. We're on Halloween. They're posting happy Halloween. Like nothing Ridiculous. bad just happened. Yeah. So and his daughter dressed as like uh, th- a, it bloody like a, a bloody zombie corpse? or oh, corpse. Right. Ireland. Yeah. 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 Pretty tone deaf family, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then on New Year's Day, Alec Baldwin does another one of his posts, just you and Alec. Mm. And he's in his house, and he's he's again thanking all his supporters. And he also then tells a story about how some he was at a cafe, and then someone gave him a Splenda packet and wrote a message on it, mm. saying like, uh, you know, supporting him, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, Who so, can write yeah. on a fucking Splenda packet? It's gonna <laughs> poke right through. Like what? Unless you got a re- very sh- fine sharpie. Yeah, it's really hard to write on a Splenda package. I've tried. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's how I, I my, my jokes I write right on a Splenda <laughs> package. So, uh, <laughs> I was on Tinder the other day. Yeah. So it, the Splenda packet had some inspirational message saying like, "Keep on, keep fighting the good fight, Alec. We support oh you God. and we love you." No, that that's obviously made up. But I think he's turning into Trump now. Yeah, he's kind of he's a, a he's wife becoming the man he hates. A or wife who the, may or may not be from a different country, we don't know. Uh, in like, well, we know oh, we she's know. from Boston. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a that's a country, that's right? Confirmed. Boston certified fact. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, that that's indisputable that she's. But he makes Boston up these. He, he makes up these followers that are always following. He says like, I got many supporters that the media doesn't want to talk about. He's against the media now. Yeah, right. And now Hilarious. like, yeah, he's turned into Trump. I think. And that's he, my theory. Famously, you know, pay. Trump on SNL and Trump spoke out about Russ saying Alec Baldwin's a maniac and he's not surprised that it happened and boy did that out of all the critiques (laughs) Alec Baldwin could not stand that one well yeah 
That's so funny. It's his enemy. So back to that New Year's Instagram video. So Alec Baldwin's going on about this story where someone wrote this inspirational message on a Splenda packet. Beautiful This message. stranger <laughs> at a cafe, right? And then he wanted to take a picture of it, he said. But, oh no, he misplaced it. And he lost it. So this is this is in the New Year's video in, in his house. Oh my! God. And so he, it, you know, he's saying, "I can't find it anymore. It exists, I swear." And then he, again, he says, "Thank you to all his supporters for the twentieth time." Yeah. And Happy New Year from Alec Baldwin. Oh God. And then after the New Year, like a week or so later, he posts another Instagram video from his car. And guess what? One of his neighbors went to not even that cafe. They went to some other. A Starbucks. Yeah, a Starbucks. Yeah. And then they happened to find in the jumble of Splenda packets that lost Splenda packet that had Alex's inspirational message on it. Wow. It was such a coincidence. Wow. And then they gave it back to Alec. And in the video, he proves that it, the story is true by showing you the Splenda packet. <laughs> and so that's where this video starts. Fake sugar, fake story. I, I wonder if he has this framed in his house, the Splendid Packet. <laughs> We're going into this this video? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. You, you know nothing. <laughs> I can't. I can't. She found the Splendid Packet. He's unraveling. She found the Splendid Packet. One more time. You are 100% true. True. Thanks for the laughs, good sir. Cheers to a new year. Love you. Is it funny to shoot it's... someone? <clears throat> oh, this is just a big fan of his shooting and not his acting. <laughs> Does this mean 2022 is going to be a good year? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Not for Helena you're, you're Hutchins' good. family. Anyway, yeah. That or even his, because there's career. going to be a trial at some point. Watch this transition. That's amazing. That's a miracle. Uh, one other quick note. Any suggestion that I am not complying with requests? <laughs> he can't help himself. He cannot help That's himself. Bullshit. That's a lie. He's Trump. <clears throat> yeah. Of course, we are 1,000% uh, uh, going to comply with all that. We're, when? Uh, you know, uh, perfectly fine with that. Excuse me. It's a process. <laughs> it's a process. I love that, though. He 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 does doubles down on the bullshit Splenda story. And then he's like, one other thing. For those of you that are <laughs> doubting me. For all my haters out there. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking nut. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with his Instagram post. Yeah. I mean, that that should not be seen. That should If you're under, people are investigating you and you accidentally killed someone on a movie set right. mere months ago, you shouldn't be posting videos like that all the time. Well, who in his family is going to make the call and say, hey, uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing this stuff? They're all nuts. Like, who's who's oh, the yeah. sane one? Eladia is going to tell him, hey, cool it on the Instagram. Billy's going to put down the crack <laughs> While I'm bending over, showing my ass, <laughs> yeah. doing yoga his poses. Crazy God, she's so hot. <laughs> oh, <Kyle. laughs> oh, you're so, hilarious. Oh, my God. God, she she's is, so hot. She is, you know, a good looking. <laughs> That's why he's putting up with her, like woman. But here so we go. Would you put up with her for that? Oof. If I already made the mistake of pumping out like eighteen kids with her, well, then you're already too far in. Yeah. They have six currently. Well, yeah. So that I mean, that's a lot. Uh, her would vagina it is like you? Stargate, but uh, <laughs> aside from that, would yeah, everything it, else about her physically is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, Kyle, if, okay, you have someone like Eladia, right? Yeah. Kyle's really got some real depth in those you're... workout videos. Were meant to be funny, but I thought they were hot as shit. <laughs> wow, that's the point. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so that's your that's your girlfriend, right? Sure. And so suddenly you guys are about to do it, right? Yeah. You're on. You're. It's date Whoa, night. It's getting it's hot getting, and heavy. And then suddenly she's to like, consummate. Yeah. She's like, Kyle, wait. <laughs> she's like, Kyle, wait. I have a, I have a confession. I'm not really from Spain. I'm like, from yeah, Boston. Yeah, 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 yeah. So would you throw her out then? No. Was that <laughs> what's that Mark Norman joke where uh you know. Uh, guys and girls are different in this way. If, uh, if uh, you know, a guy says to a girl, I'm a Nazi, she goes, I got to get the hell out of here. If a girl says to a guy, I'm a Nazi, I got to bang this girl and get the, get hell, the hell out, out of here. here. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. That's one of my favorite jokes ever. It's, yeah. And Spot on. Should we pull up that press conference for a second? Uh, the roadside? Because that gives you a little clue into their sure. marriage, I think. 
And the story I remember of this press conference is they're on their way to hide out in Vermont yeah. in the end of October while this is all blowing up. And they decide just to pull over on the side of a highway. Well, I think the press was chasing them. I'm not trying they to were give, give them, them any credit at all. But, yeah, they were following them for but sure. But he loves, he could just keep driving. They're not going to hurt him. Like, why does he have to engage with these people? <laughs> they felt like, oh, if we give them what they want, maybe they'll leave us alone. Why does he want to get be left alone? Who cares? Just go to your location. I get know. The fuck. Maybe it's a Princess Diana type thing where they thought that it, uh, you know, maybe they were going to be driven off the road if they don't squash it at that point. Yeah. That was another ridiculous thing. Um, Kyle, in that list, I think it's called Even Alec Can't Stand Eladia. Yes. Yeah, Alec Baldwin can't stand his wife, Hilaria. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's go. Let's go. I will. What do you want to know? All right, Alec, what's the current state of what's going on with the case? I'm not allowed to make any comments. But I'm going to comment so now. Going yeah. I've been ordered. Unless it's written on a Splenda packet. It's, it's an investigation. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Splenda. It's an active investigation. This was pre Splenda. She was my friend. She was my friend. She was my the friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. Oh, that means they're close. Then. We were a very, very, excuse me. We were a very, <laughs> very, you know, well She looks like a hobbit coming into frame. And, then and he's like, get out of here. Excuse me. Now, I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I can't. I can't. I can't. That's uh, it. And you met with... Sorry. What are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the... Uh, the and she's the, filming uh, them. I'm afraid I forget her name in a moment, but you met with her family? Uh, in the Helena. Day. Yes, her I name met is with Helena. Her if you're spending this much time waiting for us, you, you should don't know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. Can Helena. someone translate for me? <laughs> her name is Hel... In the, the, her facial uh, expression there. Her name is Helena. They're, 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 they're you, mortified. You guys, you guys, you know what? No details. Do me a favor. I'm going to have some... Excuse me. Oh, my God. Jesus. The, the, the guy is overwhelmed like, between. This is something that it's, it's totally impromptu nothing video, right? Uh, uh, and he can't sets. he won't even let Eladia uh, say anything. Nothing. Yeah. This is a one in a Noth- it's That's totally a informal. And so the, he is in shock. He has a nine year old son. You know, we are, you know, in constant contact with him. Jeez. We're very worried about his family. <laughs> yeah. Eladia, what the fuck? Yeah, she's just like lurking around him with her camera. Well, this what is all going to be in a book she's going to write. Oh, oh, yeah. It's our, she's already documented it. I couldn't answer that question. I, I really don't have any... I have no sense of it. And she's shaking her just, head while he's talking. Too. She wants to be in the Women's. shot. Yeah. That's all. Oh, absolutely. On film sets is something I'm extremely interested in. Where are you? But remember, she's defending her man. You know what this reminds me of? It, in one, in one, no, in the <laughs> opening credits to Saturday Night Live in the early '90s, there's a shot of Phil Hartman when it shows Phil Hartman's moment where he's announcing being announced in the opening credits. You see a girl's earring moving, like flapping around, but only the back of her head. Well, that was Bryn Hartman he was facing, and she wanted to be uh, in the shot so bad she oh. kept turning her head, and that's why her ear was moving. Oh, shit. <laughs> she reminds me of Bryn Hartman. So and that's the one who killed Phil Hartman. Well, yeah. Yeah. Why is there any question into that? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not trying to say Eladia is going to kill Alec Baldwin, but... Well, you're not allowed to say that. Yeah, because she hasn't befriended Andy Dick yet. <laughs> Do you think production will start up again on No, I doubt it. Sincerely doubt it. Why Vermont, Alex, is... He wouldn't even let Eladia answer <laughs> that softball question. No, 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 no. no. You've said enough. He's, he seems insane right now. Yeah. Like he's possessed. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that's that's become a classic yeah. moment that press conference. Yeah, and there's one guy that's making the most of it online, uh, Kyle Dunnigan. We're going to give him a plug. Yeah, absolutely give him a plug. He is one of the funniest, if not the funniest, uh, impressionist on the internet right now. Crushing it with all, of, all these... a great Bill Maher, too. Yeah, Bill Maher, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> not, yeah, yeah Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Gold oh, room, yeah. really? Yeah. I can't do this again. <laughs> well, fresh off the press comments, why don't we hear Kyle Dunn again? Yeah. Hello there. Alec Baldwin here with another 
inappropriate Instagram post. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly thank you all. He's for wearing the scarf. Well wishes I've received and your beautiful condolences about the loss of my good friend, cinematographer Hannah Montana. She was my friend. She was my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike that armorer girl who I don't even remember. Women over 140 pounds are invisible to me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh, Excuse me. Don't they? Sorry, that was my wife, Ilaria. <laughs> She's from Espana, born in a little town known as Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> and the, that he obviously studied all the posts. Yeah, because even I was telling you, that has and, the greatest hits of every greatest hits. Post. The excuse me. Yeah, and in España, he said in interviews, "My wife is from Spain." My wife is from Spain. And then the scarf he wore in the November video, in one of his, you know, yes. thanking the fans videos. Yeah, so I didn't see that one, but it, the uh, little icon popped up, and I I saw the exact it, one. Doesn't it, it look? Does. <laughs> it, it almost looks like a parody already, right. the way Alec Baldwin looks. Yeah, he's like in his driveway with a scarf on. Yeah, and it looks like he's wearing like a wig. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's uh, the intention here? You think he is going for an insane... Uh, uh, whatever you insanity know. defense. Insane defense. Well, yeah. that's the the comic take. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's but, no other way to explain it. Like he's but, having a fucking meltdown on on social. Yeah, media. but w- but I I don't personally think it's intentional. But it sh- certainly looks like insane. I think it's just insanity to me. Tone deafness. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Right. And he posted recently. I think it was last week on Instagram uh, a picture of his son, and he wrote, uh, "Romeo is so dot 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 alive." And it's like, dude, what? let's not talk about who's living and who's dead yeah, and how much yeah, life yeah. they have. Like, Jesus Christ, man. So strange. Yeah. He could just be having like, it could be just a so- psychotic meltdown. Like, he's like losing it big time. Yeah. Well, the th- just celebrities in general, everybody loses their fucking mind. Yeah. Well, not Britney that, Spears? Not everyone. Yeah. She's yeah. Totally crazy. She's she hasn't cooled down at all since the conservative her sister stopped. her sister's like uh she put a knife to me uh, my throat or something yeah she's like <laughs> pretty's like fuck you yeah <laughs> and her sister just wrote a book yeah imagine yeah. your siblings writing books about you yeah. yeah it becomes like an ecosystem where everyone's just making yeah. money off the absurdity of everything like pete davidson i don't believe any of these uh, relationships or the Kanye one with that that Fox girl from Uncut Gems. I don't oh, believe Julia Fox, I yeah. don't believe any of this bullshit. Well, if if it's not real, there kudos to their management team. Like that's really what it's Just all about. Keeping that. them in the yeah exactly. the headlines. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. If only Alec Baldwin had someone to talk to him to say stop. <laughs> well, yeah. we're telling him. Yeah, hey, <laughs> we'll be your lawyer. Are you saying yeah. he shot that poor girl for? Press? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's put it this way, though. That's the wildest theory I've yeah. heard so far. If it's going to happen to someone accidentally shooting someone on a movie set, Alec Baldwin was the right guy for it to happen to. Because clearly... He can't take he's, it. He, well, clearly, he has some kind of celebrity, sociopathic yeah. you know, nerve that other humans don't have. Yeah. Like I said, if it happened to us, we'd lay low. Right. But no, he's... Having a ball on Instagram. He's having a Baldwin. Yeah, he's having a Baldwin. <laughs> but he could, he also had. I think he had to delete his Twitter for a while years ago because he couldn't because he just went after people all the time. Yeah, I just think he's. Yeah, he's a lunatic. Yeah, he's doing it again, but, but with, he's with videos. Killed yeah. someone this time. Yeah, before it was just words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's murdered someone. Yeah, like someone's dead. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of, that was the other huge thing. I have a little excerpt from the big George Stephanopoulos love fest they oh, did. Oh, God, it was H- so his ridiculous. Man, his um, Hamptons buddy, George Stephanopoulos, yeah. interviewed him for yeah. ABC News, and it was the most softball interview. Why and, speak out now? Yeah. yeah. So I, I have a little <laughs> excerpt from it, All right. just to remind y'all. I'm sitting on this this pew, and so help me God. I sat on that pew right before they called lunch, and I said, this movie has made me love making movies again. (laughs) Too bad you had to kill someone. I love to make movies. (laughs) I did. Maybe he just likes killing people on the set. You know, people, they have their dreams. No matter how old you are, you have your dreams of people you want to work with. And this movie made me 
love making movies again. I would do anything in my power to undo what was done. That I don't know how that bullet arrived in that gun, I don't know. But I'm all for doing anything that will take us to a place where we're, it's, this is less likely to happen again. Well, I still believe, yeah, that was ridiculous, but I, I still <laughs> believe that the the girl who was the gun wrangler on set, that was kind Hannah of her fault. Hannah Gutierrez. Yeah, I think yeah, that was armorer. her fault. I got, yeah. Yeah, I think. And the assistant director, she too. She was the fill-in. Dave arm- Halls. Yeah. Yeah. Those two, I mean, the girl probably just, I think it's more on Dave Halls than anyone because he was the one that always wanted to be touching the gun. So I think he yeah. grabbed it from her and she's like, eh. And they were playing around with the guns. It was dumb. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that just came out, by the way, that he finally turned his phone yeah. over to yeah. police, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. So Gutierrez, also, it came out recently that she says Alec wasn't interested in going over safety with her. That's probably true, too. Also. Yeah. yeah. So who really is to blame? Because everyone's blaming each other. The only one really is Dave Halls that seems to be like everyone's ganging up on him. That seems like a great movie, though. That in itself. Like a who thing. Yeah, exactly. And that's how he's... That's Alec Baldwin is basically saying as much he's like that's the big question is what happened yeah. who put the bullet in the gun yeah he's he's basically pitching it as a murder mystery <laughs> yeah. oh absolutely um he actually was sued today oh hit with a 25 million defamation lawsuit by family of marine killed in afghanistan this is different than wow him. yeah the sister of uh, Lance Corporal Riley J. McCollum said she was subjected to hundreds of hateful messages after the actor allegedly called her a January 6th rioter on Instagram. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so not related to Russ. He's got a yeah. lot of legal issues. Yeah. Wow. Going on, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. One piece at a time. Right? Couldn't happen to a better guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't happen wow. to a happier guy. Yeah. Yikes. Fucking loony. Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, at least he's got a hot wife, right, Kyle? Yeah. yeah Kyle loves her, I guess. Yeah, if she uh, gets back on the market, she might be getting fucked, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <geez. laughs> Mother of five or six kids. Yeah. Kyle, like, got in for it. Jeez. So you would raise all those kids? No. They Dude, look like daddy. Yeah. They look like children of the corn. Have you seen <laughs> pictures of them? Really? Romeo. Yeah, but, they all look like, like Damien. Shell shot. They do yeah. though. Yeah. They, they're cute and all, but yeah. you know they they also look demonic. Imagine, yeah. yeah, the stories they have about that dad. <laughs> Fucking jeez. <laughs> Fucking hey. All right. So, uh, what else about Baldwin? I think we're caught up. I'm caught up. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been our first post mortem. Mortem. Post mortem. Post mortem. Finish him. Mortem. <laughs> <laughs> mortem combat. Follow Post-em. us on uh, Twitter. Yep. Follow us on uh, Instagram, YouTube. Death in Entertainment. Twitter, Diepod 2022. 2021. Uh, uh, the birth year. Yes. The birth year of this podcast. It's been EST not a full year yet, but we've uh, we've had a couple of good months here, and we're going to keep going. you goddamn right. And YouTube. Check out YouTube because I'm going to have the Alec Baldwin. I'm going to have a couple of compilations of Alec Baldwin. Perfect. Yeah. The Can't best wait. parts of the ABC interview so <laughs> that you don't have to watch the whole thing. Yeah. And then a compilation of all the Instagram and media craziness. We're going to take this fucker down, guys. Including the Splenda <laughs> packet. Perfect. Please. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.